Hello Legacy Sabres, Marsh here. This is the first video of the semester run review packet for you guys. Um, there will be four videos in total. So this is video one. So we're gonna start on the first page. We're gonna start with unit one, which was function basics. Main thing that we started with function basics is function operations. So the first one, first problem is g of five. Remember, this means to substitute the value inside of the function. So they literally want me to say, well, if I plug in a five for an x, what are we gonna get? So do some quick math here. And we're gonna get a total of 80 from that. Second problem, times, we want to multiply the two. So I'm going to go 2x minus 1 times 3x squared plus 5. So this is a beautiful FOIL job. So I'm going to go 2x times 3x squared. That's going to give me 6x cubed. 2x times 5, which is 10x. Negative 1 times 3x squared. That's negative 3x squared. And negative 1 times 5, which is negative 5. I'm then going to put it in standard form. So that means exponents going down, descending in order. So 6x cubed is going to go first, followed by negative 3x squared, followed by positive 10x, followed by a negative 5. I'm running out of room. Um, now I need to do composition. Remember, when it looks like this, that means you're going to substitute f into g wherever you see an x. So I'm going to do a quick intermediate step. And I'm going to write what x or f is instead. So into g, wherever I see an x, I am putting 2x minus 1. So I'm going to start writing g, but I saw an x. So I'm going to put f's value in that spot, like that. Now, sidebar. This is 2x minus 1 quantity squared, right? So that technically is 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Okay. Now, I did a quick FOIL job here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get 4x squared, ooh, negative 4x. That's the two middles added together because I'll get negative 2x and a negative 2x, right? And then negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. I'm going to add 5 at the end. Now I've got to distribute the 3. And then at the end, combine some more like terms on the end there. And I will get that for my answer. Um, number four, I need to add the two functions together. So I'm going to write the two functions, put a plus in the middle. And then I just need to combine some like terms. Um, I'm going to put them in order too, so in standard form. So 3x squared is going to go first, followed by a positive 2x, followed by negative 1 plus 5, which is positive 4. And then number five, I guess number five is going to go all the way down here. I need to do the inverse. Now remember how to do an inverse. It is writing the function, but you're flipping the x and the y around. So I'm going to flip the y, x and y around. And then I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to add one over, divide by two. And then my final answer, remember, you had to say, hey, look, Ma, I found the inverse. So I'm going to say, hey, I found the inverse. And it is x plus 1 all over 2 for my answer. That is the answer to number 5. Next set from function basics was how do you determine if it's even, odd, or neither? Now, remember, even means y-axis symmetry. So that means I can fold over the y-axis and it meets up. Odd, at, odd symmetry is when you are origin symmetry. We call that flip over x, flip over y, right? So flip over x and y and see if it lines up. Neither was nothing. So I'm looking at this graph here. So if I think, well, if this hump flow, flew, reflected over the y-axis, it would look something like this, right? And if it flipped over the x-axis, it would perfectly line up. So this guy is an odd function, and that is because it has origin symmetry. You also could tell me, I flipped it over the x, flipped it over the y, and it lined up, okay? But what if I'm not looking at a graph? Remember, we had to substitute a negative x, simplify, and then see if it showed up. 
So I'm going to plug in a negative x into the function, and I'm going to see if it simplifies. Well, negative x squared, would you agree with me that that is just x squared, right? Because that squared is going to take care of the negative. Notice we got the original back out. If you receive the original, you are allowed to say it is an even function. To be odd in this regard, remember, everything had to change sign. It was odd that everybody changed sign. Then I have an equation with a slope of 2, and it passes through the point of 3, negative 1. Now remember, we've done translated form quite a bit. So we had our slope, which was 2, and then I thought to myself, how did I get to the ordered pair 3, negative 1? Well, I went right 3, so in my translated form, it is opposite of what I think it should be. And then I had to go down 1, so I'm going to say I went down 1. This would be in a correct answer. Or you could also write y equals 2x minus 7, which would be y-intercept form. It is honestly up to you, whichever one you want to write. The final problem on the first page of our final review is solving systems, 3 by 3s. So remember, 3 by 3s, here is our process. We paired two equations, we eliminated a variable. We paired two more equations, we eliminated the same variable. Then we paired those two resulting to give us a final answer. Then we plugged in and plugged in. So what I'm going to do, I'm first going to label my problems. So this is 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to first do 1 and 3. So I'm going to write them down. And remember, we kind of left ourselves some breadcrumbs to make sure that we actually got the right answers. Plus, if we messed up, it was really nice to have. Okay. Notice, my y's are going to cancel off right away. I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to get negative 2x plus 7z is equal to negative 15. I'm going to star that so I don't lose it later. I now want to pair... 2 and 3, I think. So negative 6x plus 5y plus 2z is negative 11. Oh, that was number 1. Whoopsies. Let's fix that. Marsh wasn't paying attention to which one she was supposed to be writing. Silly, silly Marsh. Negative 2x plus y plus 4z is negative 9. And 4x minus 5y plus 5z is negative 4. Uh, notice the y's are not going to cancel, and I need to cancel out y's because that's what I did here. So I'm going to multiply the top by a positive 5. So I'm going to get negative 10x plus 5y plus 20z is equal to negative 45. Gross. Big number. Um, y's are gone. So I'm going to get negative 6x plus 25z, just adding stuff together here, and then negative 49. Let's star that. So now I'm going to pair these two equations with one another because they should hopefully help me solve for at least one of the variables. There we go. Um, not canceling out right now. I'm not going to play with the z's because those are really big numbers. I'm going to multiply the top equation by a negative 3, so then I get a positive 6 here. So positive 6, negative 21 z's, and uh, 45 it looks like that. So I'm going to cancel out the x's. I'm going to get 4z, and I'm going to get a negative 4. It looks like z is in fact negative 1. Yay! We got one answer. Now remember, to get the next variable, you plugged it into one of the guys you starred. I want to plug it into this equation here. So negative 2x plus 7 times negative 1, because that's my z, right? Equals negative 15. Negative 2x minus 7 is negative 15. It looks like negative 2x is equal to a negative 8. Or x is, in fact, 4. Woohoo! One more variable. So now I'm going to take my z and my x and I'm going to plug it into one of the originals. I'm going to plug it into the top equation. Though technically the middle one probably will be easier. But I'm going to do the top. So negative 6 times 4 plus 5 times y. We don't know what y is. That's the one we're trying to find. Plus 2 times negative 1 is equal to negative 11. Um, negative 24 plus 5y 
minus 2 is equal to negative 11. Negative 26 plus 5y is negative 11, it looks like. So 5y is, ooh, I'm adding 26, 15. So y is, in fact, 3. So my ordered triple is x, 4, y, 3, z, negative 1. And then remember, plug it into each of the equations. Make sure you get the correct answers. That's going to help you check to make sure that you are, in fact, correct. And that is the end of the first video. Please continue on to page or video two to help you with the rest of your final. Until then, see you later, Sabres.